The Cody Ko situation got a lot worse and people are wondering, when is he gonna break out that good old ukulele? Hopefully soon. This video is sponsored by, well, you. All I want for you to do is to subscribe and it's free. I'm not asking for no money. I just want that little finger to hit the subscribe button and get me to my goal of 930,000 subscribers. That's all. And if you do, thank you so much. Let's get into today's video. Hello and welcome back to the miniverse where we can do anything we want. Like eat copious bags of hot Cheetos and not get heartburn. But something in this world that you still can't do is have S-E-X with the damn children. And for some reason, I have to remind certain people, especially YouTubers and streamers a lot lately, I'm not sure what the hell is up with YouTubers, celebrities, streamers, meeting up with young girls and boys, James Charles, that are still learning logarithms and thinking, yeah, would love to hang out with her. We have so much in common, as in she thinks I'm a god because I have so many subscribers and she watches my video, so this will be pretty easy to get in her teenage pants. Since women my own age thinks I'm totally cringe and socially awkward. So why have to hit up high schools and barely legal teens whose front lobes are still developing? Well, we talked about Mr. Cody Ko a few videos ago and we all guessed when is the apology gonna come out? Where is the ukulele? Where is the guitar cover? At least give us an ETA on the tearful apology of how I was different back then when I was 25 and that upcoming YouTuber who was 17 and I collabed and f after. Please, I'm a new man. Plus I'm married now and please stop talking about this. It's making my wife feel very uncomfortable. Sorry. Well, we haven't gotten the custom song yet, but we do have an update. So let's get into it. After my last video, the Cody Ko video seemed to just die down a bit as he didn't respond. If you don't want drama, just stay quiet and talk about Alpha Bros on your YouTube channel. Am I right, Cody? Left, right, left, right, left. Comrade, like this video immediately. No, I won't. And don't tell me what to do. But then, from the dark corners of the internet, D'Angelo Wallace made a video titled An Uncomfortable Conversation About Cody Ko. You must have realized the limits by now since people have just transferred the conversation over to your wife's channel. The fact that her comment section is overrun due to your decision to stay silent about this should be all the proof you need that that decision was wrong. At this point, your silence and censorship are a response with disturbing implications. The only thing that I've seen this hidden portion of your audience asking for is the truth. So why aren't you telling it? And as I watched this video, I sat there and said, finally, one of the biggest commentary channels finally made a video. Because plenty of smaller channels like mine and other people have made videos about this, but I think Cody Ko was wiping the sweat off his brow because, well, we're not big enough. But D'Angelo Wallace gets the views. And a lot of the larger commentary creators have been absolutely silent about this. Does this bother anyone else? I mean, the James Charles thing happened a while ago and everybody jumped on that. I think even YouTube got involved. Also, just a sidetrack, we all know that Cody Ko was a super popular boy broski college man. What? I'm, uh, I'm DPing. Is this me? Is this my DPing family? Cody's vlogs. Oh, you're DPing my vlogs? So it just soothes my plastic cold heart that D'Angelo Wallace, who would be considered a nerd, is holding this man accountable while he has this cute little lisp. I know Cody is fuming. It's like a nerd uprising and I'm living for it. But what's great is because of D'Angelo Wallace's video that I will link below, many YouTubers have actually come out talking against Cody. Old footage has been brought to the surface that people have found from other YouTubers and other YouTubers are talking about these parties where older YouTubers would be hitting on underage YouTubers. And one of the clips that have been making its waves around the internet is Gabby Hanna's clip. Time. I told a guy, I saw him making out with a girl at a party yeah. who was underage. And I pulled him aside and I was like, hey man, you probably don't know. I know she like looks a little older. She's underage. Watch it. And he's like, oh my God, thank you for telling me. And then he turned. That is absolutely wild to me. He had a chance. People warned him and he said, F that. I'm a YouTuber. I'm Cody Ko. I have millions of subscribers. I'm basically a celebrity. They get away with this stuff, which means... I'll get away with this stuff. I'm basically a 
God! Someone else that I'm surprised is talking about this is Keemstar. Not a fan of his, but he also talked about the situation, but he was saying that he knew this years ago because Gabby Hanna told him, and everyone was extremely angry about his video because they were questioning, well, why didn't he go to the police? This was told to me years ago, off record. I can't just leak that to the internet without knowing it's true, without someone actually going on record and destroying Cody Ko's career over something that can't be confirmed. There's, there's no witness on record. I can't just leak that. Please use your brains, all right? I can't just come out with that statement. I wasn't there. I didn't see it with my own eyes. I get told crazy allegations off record on a daily basis. And what my team does is we try to find stuff online to confirm it. And if we can't get some, some credible stuff online or other witnesses that come out publicly, there's not much we can do. There's not much we can do. We can't put out information that would potentially destroy a YouTuber's career without something solid. Now, what has changed? Well, we have Tana Mojo on record, and then we have Gabby, permis Gabby Hanna's permission of me sharing what I was told years ago. That's what's changed. That's why I'm coming out with this statement now. But I, I want you guys to use your head. I even had someone saying, well, you didn't go to the police. No, I wasn't there. I didn't witness it. What am I gonna, what am I gonna say? Oh, someone told us off record that this happened. We're not sure if it's true or not. You know, what can the police even do with that? You know, I'm the wrong person to go to the police. Uh, that would be like Tana Mojo or Gabby who were actually there. And yes, I agree. I don't know what he could have done in this situation because it sounds like at the time, Tana didn't understand that this was an issue. And she was even saying that she didn't want this coming out back then. And we all kind of know that underage girl that is for some reason dating a 30 year old loser. And after they break up, she's like, I know it was wrong, but I don't want him to get in trouble. Anyone underage dating that 30 year old loser, you are not mature for your age. Tell on that man. He's gross and women his age think he's a slime ball, which is why he had to go for you. You're not special to him, you're just easy. But now that Tana is older, she sees how creepy it is. She realizes that this was so wrong and he took advantage of how naive she was when she was 17. I mean, even Cody Ko knew how creepy and weird it was to be hanging out with underage chicks. Just look at this resurfaced clip of him talking about how weird it is to be talking to high schoolers. Can you imagine being 25 sitting in classes pretending you're 16? <laughs> Cody can. Damn, dude. <laughs> Just learning about like the periodic table and shit. Oh my god. You're like, yeah, yeah. Oh, gold. I don't know if it's just me, but look how uncomfortable Cody looks. The looking down, the shifting of the eyes. Cody, then years after this whole thing comes out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Girls being like, hey, you're on varsity, right? And you're like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I can't Listen, talk this to is you. A, uh, this this is a, isn't a good idea. <laughs> well, you apparently thought it was a great idea when it comes to Tana, allegedly, of course. So he didn't say a lot, but he didn't stand up and say, Noel, untrue. I have tons in common with high schoolers. In fact, I collaborated with one that I banged after we filmed. So since he didn't do all of that, I'm gonna guess that he's agreeing with this and that he also agrees that it's weird to hang out with high schoolers and you have nothing in common except that they watch your content. Another content creator called Jarvis, I like this guy, I used to watch him a lot, but he ended up speaking about the topic as everyone was saying, boy, this is your friend, what's going on? And he had to say something on his Instagram. I'm crushed to learn about the Cody allegations. If it's proven to be true, then that's extremely upsetting as a collaborator and longtime fan. I find all of this disturbing and flat out disappointing. He also ended up making a video on his podcast channel as well. Uh, allegedly, Cody hooked up with Tana knowing that she was a minor, which is a crime. And, uh, and it's, it's insane to have any kind of discourse about that. It, absolutely. It's self-report. It's disgusting. So now I'm wondering if more people who have worked with Cody Ko will come out like this. You know, like Noel, who was like, his right hand man. I was also seeing comments under Drew and Danny Gonzalez's videos and Instagrams being angry that they haven't made a statement that they disagree with Cody's actions because they follow him and have been on his podcast, which I definitely have my opinions about. YouTube is technically a job, right? Stay with me now, okay? People who are on the internet. Collaborating is pretty much work. 
people do it so that they can increase their views with creators that have the same type of style as them. So my question to you is, do you think that all creators, when something happens, have to publicly state that they don't agree with what the individual they've worked with has done? I know it's probably a very good thing to say like, hey everyone, I don't agree with this idiot nor do I hang out with this idiot. But I'm pretty sure, at least I hope most of the people who have worked with Cody aren't like, yeah, dude, you go to those high schools and hit on students. Well, maybe not his frat bros, they probably all do the same thing. But like the normal people probably don't think that. I just think it's a little odd when I see people in the comment sections demanding that people tell their audience that they don't agree with a certain creator's thing that they did. Like if someone I work with decided to go punch a baby, do I need to go on here and tell people, hey guys, just so you know, I don't agree with punching babies. Oh, and about the Keemstar and the police thing and people being upset, it's very true. The police wouldn't do anything unless the girl cooperates in Tennessee like she didn't want to cooperate. I've been in that situation. We had an issue at my old gym that I worked at and one of the trainers were having SEX with their 16 year old client. Yes, parents, please watch out for your trainers. Once again, they will abuse their power if they're a butthole. Anyway, I found out because my client who was in high school told me about it after I complained about that specific trainer because he was gross. I got confirmation from the girl and I went to the police and they didn't do anything because the girl was like, oh no, nothing happened. So, I mean, if the girl isn't going to participate in bringing down this guy, it, it, won't, it won't work. At least that's what they told me. Anyway, so I'm sure you're probably wondering, what has Cody Co been up to other than staying silent? Well, this fool is up in Las Vegas partying and DJing it up. Is it too late now to say sorry? Oh my gosh, you guys, is this history? Y'all, this has to be the first, I think. I mean, we didn't get a ukulele response, but we pretty much got a DJ response which I don't think we've gotten before from YouTubers. Not in your world or the mini world. This right here is pretty much saying, I don't give a fuck, I'm still rich, ha ha, he he. His YouTube be popping too, okay. Well, not his main channel. The Alpha Bro video was posted about a month ago, but Cody and Co is where it's been popping. And I think my favorite video is when he's making fun of the nice guys who aren't so nice. A tip of the fedora to you, my lady. Today we are back on the nice guys subreddit. The first one was a whole lot of fun and we're doing it again. And I can't wait. You bitch, <laughs> you, you suck. Unless you hit the like button right now. <laughs> yep, still not doing that, sir. You know, he has been having his team or himself or his wife or maybe his new baby, I don't know, but delete comments from multiple videos, except for his wife's channel because her channel is fluttered with comments saying, what's up with Cody Ko? Is he gonna respond? Is he gonna take responsibility or at least say anything? So I guess he doesn't really care about that, just his own channel. But I see that he's not keeping up with all the videos because specifically under this nice guys aren't so nice video, there are a bunch of comments like this. Take accountability, this is twirly, loser. Which we will probably react to sometime this week because it definitely aged extremely horribly and I gotta talk about it. But it looks like Cody Ko doesn't really care. So that is our mini update in our mini verse on Cody Ko. And remember adults, please do not touch Touch the children. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos on this channel in the miniverse. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you don't touch the children. And I hope to see you next time either in my miniverse or the real world. See ya! Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car in a giddy up. Giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car in a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on a flex since flex on.